Hey guys, Tom Terry with Linux MCE. I wanted to do a quick demonstration of uh, some of the QML test applications uh, that are available as part of uh, Qt Creator and the latest version of the Qt SDK. The reason that we're doing this is essentially because uh, the new Orbiter technology that will be used in Linux MCE will be built on top of Qt and QML. Now I have right here a, uh, an Asus EPC that I'm using as my primary uh, development laptop here. And over to my left I'm actually using my trusty Arcos 9 tablet. The Arcos 9 tablet is currently running Mego Core with a few of my own custom bits and pieces and some things installed so I can do development work on it. Now, um, I'm going to go ahead and go over here, and you can see here that we have uh, a, a terminal window open, and I'm going to, and I have it set up to uh, talk to this display over here, and I'm going to literally just take and launch the photo viewer. Now, I'm going to go ahead and launch the photo viewer in two different ways. The first way, I'm going to launch it using software rendering, or as we all know it, in QT land, in Qt land, the uh, raster engine. I'm sorry, I know some of you are very pedantic. It's pronounced Qt, not Qt. Uh, anyway, so we start. And as we see here, uh, it actually gets okay performance, but one thing that you'll notice right off the bat is that the, um, is that the uh, graphics themselves are actually pretty smooth. And we can go in, of course, and, uh, sorry, yep, as you can see, it's right there. Graphics are a little bit slow, but it works on this device. This device is an Arcos 9. It uses a Z-Series Atom. Uh, not the fastest thing in the world, but it does have a decent graphics coprocessor. We are not using it at the moment because of the software rendering. Uh, but as you can see, it's got uh, you know a full gestural interface and whatnot. For this particular type of inf uh, of uh, application, where you have a lot of, uh, where you either have small flat textures or uh, a lot of small flat textures as well, uh, OpenGL rendering really does help for something like this. So we're going to go ahead and kill this application. I'm going to hit Control C on my terminal here and turn it off, and we're going to launch the same thing over here again, except. We're going to launch it with Graphic System OpenGL. Now you'll notice immediately that the performance of the graphics subsystem improved right markedly with the uh, use of uh, the Graphic System OpenGL. We'll go ahead and go into a section here. As you can see, very well, very well done, very well put together. And you can see the uh, graphic system actually improves quite a bit. Uh, there is some issues with the EMGD with regards to textures here, but uh, hopefully Intel will have this worked out uh, in the later releases of the EMGD driver, I'm really hoping, because the graphics chipset itself is actually quite nice, and it has decent performance, uh, and it pretty much uh, has, you know, it, it has decent performance and it has low wattage for an Intel product. So, I mean, there you go. There's your basic photo viewer right there. I'm going to go ahead and now for my second piece, I'll go ahead and uh, kill the terminal this time. And I'm going to launch the web browser. First with software written, first with just software rendering. The Qt web browser here, the, sorry, Qt. Cute. I won't do it again, I promise. I will not make that mistake again. Right, it's cute. Go ahead, select, and you can see even with software rendering here, we have some decent performance. So your rendering subsystems and whatnot can be pretty much des decided on a on a case by case basis, and you can still get pretty decent performance, even with things like the software renderer. So it might actually it might actually be worth it for using the software render for certain bits and pieces of uh, Linux MCE Orbiter here. So, but I will show you right now. I'm going to go ahead and and start the start it with the uh, uh, with the OpenGL renderer so you can see. And you'll immediately start to see that there are some rendering glitches that show up immediately. Uh, as you can see, 
uh, it, by looking at the debugging messages over here, we're actually having uh, difficulty uh, allocating texture sizes. I need to take and work with some of the Intel engineers and the Migo engineers to figure out if there's a way to get around this. But even as you can see here, the performance of the textures that are on screen are significantly faster. Even if the uh, whole texture issue tends to kind of go a little funky. So, as you can see here, OpenGL rendering can, uh, while OpenGL rendering does improve performance across the board, the software renderer can actually do a decent job for, uh, certain, for certain tasks. Now, as a bonus here, I'm actually going to run the same bits and pieces on my uh, Joggler, which has roughly the same rendering subsystem. Both a Z-Series Atom and uh, the uh, SGX, uh, Power VR SGX uh, rendering core. Now I'm going to go ahead and go to, I'm going to, I've got it up here in my, uh, I've got it up here in my uh, history here, so let me just scroll up a little bit. I'll go to the web browser first. And then we'll start the web browser. And as we start the web browser here, you'll see that it starts over here. And it actually fits quite nicely to this display. And you can see, even with software rendering here, too, again, the performance is quite nice. Oops, sorry. Actually, select it there. And, yeah, resistive touchscreen, but still, as you can see, it's actually been optimized quite well, even for software rendering. Not bad. Not bad for using the CPU. And for the second, uh, uh, unfortunately, because of the, uh, there's a seg fault that happens, I can't show the OpenGL acceleration on the, uh, on the joggler. But uh, anyway, so uh, yeah, I'll be posting our progress as we build more of the Linux MCE Orbiter in the coming weeks. But I wanted to kind of give this aside here because one of the things that we are going to have to concentrate on is literally rendering performance. It is paramount. We have to make sure that, this, uh, that our Orbiter can run on these embedded devices like this guy right here, on devices like the Joggler or on uh, tablet devices, or little bitty tablet devices, or devices like my little Nokia N900 here. So, um, yeah, uh, until next time, uh, talk to you guys later. Bye.